Hello, Dart Beaver Productions here with another Hammer Editor tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use scripted sequences to make a um, another G-Man scene. This one is going to be like uh, the one in my map, DP Scary Map, as requested by MVJ. So let's begin. First, we're going to uh, start out in this room. We're going to have our info, info player start. And then we're going to have a trigger, which is hooked up to an info destination teleport and a G-Man here. Now in my map I used a control, uh, a point viewpoint, no, it's it's a uh, camera entity, that's all I know, and because uh, I don't remember, it was a while ago, but um, I haven't used them in a while so I'm just going to use this. Now, oh dude that's creepy, his eyes follow you, whoa, holy crap, that's creepy. Ew. Okay, anyway, um, let's begin. So, we want him to be facing Gordon, and Gordon be facing him, and he's going to fidget his tie and then walk away. So, first, we need a scripted sequence here. Go to your Entities tab, and then in the Objects, type scripted sequence why are there two uh, okay that doesn't make any sense anyway click oh okay <laughs> there we go don't want to get the one with the speech bubble you want the one with the uh uh this thing of a jigger here the box and you're going to put it right over inside Mr. G-Man here we want to give G-Man a name i'm going to name him G-Man again a very original name right the reason I said again was is because that's exactly what I named them in my first G-Man scene tutorial. Now we're going to double click on our scripted sequence and uh, we're going to name this script 1. Now, flags. Let's just check the flags real quick. No flags. Okay. <coughs> Target NPC. We're going to type in G-Man. There we go. Now I've got, we've got our G-Man. Now what we want him to do is first we want sorry about that um hold on a second sorry about this okay pre-action idle animation this is what he's gonna be like before he does the scripted sequence actually no we're gonna keep that blank He's just going to be standing and idle, but we want him to fidget his tie once we get in here. So we're going to find the tie fidget animation. Somewhere in here. Fidget, tie, tie fidget. Where are you? Here it is, tie fidget. And look, there he goes, he's fidgeting his tie. There he goes, like a good little G-man. We're going to select it and copy it. And then we're going to go to our scripted sequence. And for the action animation, we're going to paste it. Tie fidget. And apply. There we go. Now I'm going to set G Man here back to idle. There we go. Now, we are almost done. Now we need to make a trigger to activate this, and then we're going to make him walk away. So, to do this, we're going to get a trigger with the trigger uh, texture. Double click it. And we're going to make a small box around our player. It doesn't matter if it's touching the G-Man or not. Control T to make a to make this Russian entity, and we're going to type in trigger once. Apply. Now we're going to go to the outputs tab. Add on trigger. Um, script one. to begin sequence. 
with a delay of one second. I'm doing a delay of one second because you want to get a time, a little bit of a glimpse at the G-Man before he does his tie fidget animation and then walks away. <coughs> so now I want him to walk away. One of the things I like about the scripted sequences is that you can choose um, to make it go to another one if you want. So I'm going to make another duplicate by holding shift and then dragging it and then letting go of shift after I let go. Now we have another scripted sequence. I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to name this one to script two. Amazing, right? Uh, we still want the G-Man as the target NPC, but um, this time uh, we don't want an action animation. We just want a move to position with walk. Oh, speaking of that, speaking of that, um, you want to go back to this one, and you want to change moving position to move to position to no, because we do not want him to move here because he's already in the same spot. Now we come back here, and we want uh, this to happen after this one. So we go to our next script on the first script, and we select our second scripted sequence and apply. And then we are done. Ta-da! And this is what your final product will look like.